Dear cadets, Assalamu alaikum and a very good morning. It's Sulam Isdan, Associate Professor of Statistics from Borussia Academy College to have a delivery on online class with you. You know your normal classes are disrupted due to the worldwide crisis COVID-19. But we can't sit idle indicating their problems. That is why we arranged these online classes so that your learning process may continue at a satisfactory level. Today, I have designed my class on the topic normal distribution. Okay, boys, let's start from learning outcomes. After this lesson, cadets will be able to explain the conditions of normal distribution, explain the definition of normal distribution, explain the properties of normal distribution, explain the properties of normal curve, explain the standard normal distribution, explain the uses of normal distribution, and also able to solve the mathematical problems. Dear cadets, now the relation with binomial distribution. When the number of trials n is very large, that is n tends to infinity, and the probability of success p and the probability of failure, you are approximately equal. Then binomial distribution turns into normal distribution. That is limit n tends to infinity p and q are approximately equal, then binomial distribution goes to normal distribution. Dear cadets, now the relation with Poisson distribution. When the number of trials n is very large, that is n tends to infinity, and the probability of success, that is p tends to zero, that is m tends to infinity, then Poisson distribution turns into normal distribution. That is limit m tends to infinity, Poisson distribution goes to normal distribution. Dear cadets, now the definition of normal distribution. A continuous random variable x is said to be have a normal distribution if its probability density function is defined by f of x equal to 1 by sigma root over 2 phi e to the power half into 
x minus mu divided by sigma whole square. Here, x greater than 0. Here, x greater than minus infinity, less than infinity. And also, sigma square greater than 0. Where, mu and sigma square are the parameter of the distribution. Dear credits, now the normal curve. The normal probability function is given by f of x equal to 1 by sigma root over 2 phi into e to the power minus half into x minus mu divided by sigma square. Here, x greater than minus infinity, less than infinity. And also, sigma square greater than zero. If we draw the graph of y equal to f of x for the different values of x from minus infinity to infinity, then the curve so obtained is called normal curve. The normal curve is well shaped and symmetrical, which is shown below. Dear credits, this is a normal curve. And the characteristics of normal curve is mean, median, mode, R equal, and coincide at the point x equal to mu and the total probability equal to one. Dead credits. Now the properties of normal distribution. Number one, normal distribution is the probability density function of a continuous random variable with parameter mu and sigma square. Number two, the total probability of this distribution equal to one. Number three, mean and variance of the normal distribution are mu and sigma square respectively. Number four, points of inflation are equidistance from mean. Number five, the distribution is symmetrical about mu. Number six, mean, median, and mode of the distribution are equal and coincide at x equal to mu. Number seven, it is unimodal distribution. Number eight, skewness of the distribution equal to zero, that is b down equal to zero. Here we know that the what order central moments are zero, that is mu one equal to zero and mu three equal to zero. So b down equal to zero. Number nine, the distribution is mesocardic, that is b down equal to three. Number 11, the proportions of area lying between mu plus minus sigma, mu plus minus two sigma, and mu plus minus three sigma are 68.27%, 95.45%, and 97%. 0.73 percent. Dear credits, 
now a standard normal variant. If x is a normal variant with mean mu and a standard deviation sigma, then the standard normal variant z equal x minus mu divided by sigma, where e of z equal to zero, that is the mean of the standard normal variant equal to zero and v of z equal to one, that is the variance of the standard normal variant equal to one. Dear credits, now the standard normal variant. The continuous random variable z is said to be have a standard normal variant if its probability density function is defined by f of z equal to one by root over two pi into e to the power minus z square by two, where z greater than minus infinity less than minus infinity, where z equal to x minus mu divided by sigma. Their credits. This is the table for standard normal distribution. <coughs> this is also the table of standard normal distribution. Their credits. There is a mathematical problem. Problem one. If The height of 300 cadets are normally distributed with mean mu 68.0 inch and standard deviation 3.0 inch. How many cadets have height greater than 72 inch? Number two, at least. 65 means number three, less than or equal 64 means number four, between 60 means to 65 means and number five equal to 70 means. Dear credits. Here x is a random variable during the height of the students. Here the mean mu equal to 60h and a standard deviation sigma equal to 3. And the total number of carriers n equal to 300. And the standard normal variate z equal to x minus mu divided by sigma. Now the solution Roman 1. Here, the probability of carriers height greater than 72 inches. That is, P of x greater than 72 inches. Dear carriers, we know z equal to x minus mu divided by sigma. So we can write P of z, P of x minus mu divided by sigma greater than 72 minus mu divided by sigma. Here, 72 is the value of x. Then we can write P of x minus mu divided by sigma greater than 72 minus 
68 divided by 3. And finally, you can write P of Z greater than 1.33. Dear credits, you see the shaded area. We have to find the property of the shaded area. So we can write P of Z greater than zero less than infinity minus P of Z greater than zero less than 1.33. Here, the property zero to infinity equal to 0.5 and the property of 1.33 equal to 0 0.4082 and finally we get the probability 0 0.0918. Now the expected number of carrots having height greater than 72 inches equal to n into p of x greater than 72 there the value of n equal to 300 and and the value of p of x greater than 72 equal to 0 0.0918 and finally we can get 28 so the expected number of credits Having heights greater than 72 inches equal to 28. Now the solution room on two. The property of carrots height at least or more than or minimum 65 inches. That is P of X greater than equal to 65. Now we can write P of X minus mu divided by sigma greater than 65 minus 68 divided by 3. And finally we get P of Z greater than equal to minus 1. Clear credits? Here you see the graph. We have to find the probability z greater than minus one. So we have to find the probability of the shaded area. Shaded area. So we can write p of z greater than minus one less than zero plus p of z greater than zero less than infinity. Here, the probability on equal to 0 0.34 on 3 and the probability of z greater than 0 less than infinity equal to 0.5 Finally, we get the probability 0 0.8413. Now, the expected number of carrots having height at least 65 inches equal to n into p of x greater than 65, here yeah, n equal to 300 and p of x greater than 65 equal to 0 0.8413. And finally, we get 252. So the expected number of carrots having heights at least 65 inches is 252. Now the solution of Roman three. The probability of credits height less than or equal sixty-four inches. That is P of 
z less than equal to 64 then you can write p of x minus mu divided by sigma less than equal to 64 minus 68 divided by 3 finally we get p of z less than equal to minus 1.33 dear credits we have to find the probability of the shaded area so we can write p of z greater than minus infinity less than infinity so we can write p of z greater than minus infinity less than zero minus p of z greater than minus 1.33 less than zero here the probability minus infinity to zero equal to 0.5 and the probability 1.33 equal to 0 0.4082 finally we get the probability 0 0.09 on each now the expected number of carrots height less than or equal 62 equals 64 is equal to n into p of x less than 64 here n equal to 300 and p of x less than equal to p of x less than 64 equal to 0 0.0918 and finally we get 28 so the expected number of credits height less than or equal to 64 in is 28 dear credits now the solution of Roman 4 the probability of carriage height between 60 ins to 65 ins so we can write x greater than equal to 60 or less than equal to 64 now we can write p of x minus mu divided by sigma greater than 62 60 minus 68 divided by 3 less than equal to 64 minus 68 divided by 3 finally we get z greater than equal to minus 2.67 less than equal to minus 1 so dear credits we have to find the probability of the shaded area and finally we get the probability 0 0.1549 now the expected number of credits having 0 to having 62 65 pins that is n into p of x greater than 60 less than equal to 64 finally we get 46 so the expected number of credits having height between 60 to 65 is equal to 46 now the roman 5 the solution is the probability of carriers height equal to 70 ins here x equal to here probability of x equal to 70 finally we get p of z equal to 0 0.67 equal to 0 since normal distribution is a continuous distribution and at any certain point its probability cannot be separated so the probability equal to zero now the importance of 
normal distribution normal distribution plays a very important role in statistics OSC is described below firstly in the test of hypothesis the population from which the sample has been drawn is assumed to be normally distributed number b in a statistical quality control the concept of normal distribution is applied successfully number c the most of the probability distribution such as binary poisson flow normal distribution under certain conditions many sampling distributions such as student t f chi square tends to normal distribution for large sample and finally it is popular to manipulate for the use in social natural sciences matter case then any question here is your here is your homework case on the mean and variance the mean and standard deviation of oises of 1200 levers are taka 50 and taka 10 respectively the oises of orcars are arranged normally case 2 carried hasan said mean and variance of a standard normal distribution are 0 and 1 respectively now the question a define normal curve question b do we use normal probability table explain find the number of workers of whose oises are from taka 45 to taka 70 in case on to the stem and number d is kadir hasan comment correct evaluate with analyzing stem 2 okay dear kids thank you for your sincere participation of my class i think you will view it again at your own convenience another significant point dear kids you must bear in your mind that you are now facing very crucial moments covid 19 has made our life unstable you should be serious in have to cope up this situation with mask care and responsibility please don't go outside at any gate remain confined completely with you in your own residence enjoy the prolonged vacation and make your study regularly spend your present moments with your parents brothers and sister at your own residence stay home and find dear kids thank you